Guys, this is Tenza B and I'm on the top of Tabletop Mountain and as you can see over this side you can see the ocean and all the different buildings from here it's a good height I'm not too sure how many feet up but I know that it's pretty high first when I came up we are a little bit a little bit nauseous um, if you turn if turn around I'm turning around and you can see the cable that goes all I'm planning to take a ride on that cable in a few minutes so I will be on top of the mountain and I'm going to walk along the side of the road if you notice all the cars are parked on one side and that's where it's dedicated to be parked while we're on the mountain you have a lot of bus rides coming up here also today is pretty crowded here I'm going towards the ticket counter right now so I can purchase my ticket so that I can go all the way up on that cable that we should. It's a little scary for me but I think I'm enjoying the breeze here. It's so windy. Okay. Up there. Hi guys welcome to my channel and those that are watching my video for the first time welcome welcome and always remember to like share and subscribe today I'm in Cape Town and I'm on the table mountain the table mountain is a big tourist attraction you can take the bus there if you want and if you drive also you can park on the side of the road once you enter on top of the, the hill um, once you get off that area then there's all parking along the side of the road as you can see me walking along the road before I go on the top of the mountain I decided to just you know cruise along and enjoy that nice scenery um, the air here is so fresh and I feel so free and nice on the top of the hill here but I'm just waiting a few minutes before I take that train to get on top of the mountain and I'm just cruising around and looking all around to see anything that is you know exciting one of the things that I think I'm going to do is to have something to eat before I go on top of the mountain there's a lot of um, food shops here um, yeah you have little shops and you have big shops where you can get stuff to eat and then you have a lot of souvenir stores on top that's what I heard I haven't been on top yet but as soon as I go up there then I, I think I'll wait to you know buy other little souvenirs to bring home and um, if you want to know more about how you can get here you can either drive or you can also take the bus there's a red Red City bus that they, that's they call it and you can find that bus um, in Cape Town in the city once you take it it takes roughly 15 to 20 minutes to reach to the mountain but then if you don't want to um, take the bus and you decide to drive you have to park your car on the side of the road okay there's a Red City bus as you can see it takes um, roughly 15 to 20 minutes to get there from downtown Cape Town also there are different prices and it all depends on the time that you decide that you want to go there um, you have prices as 290 for adult and that is 290 run and also for children is 140 and that is run and it depends on what time children is usually about four four years old on to 17 so between 4 to 17 is 140 ran and for adult is 290 ran once you reach at the location at the bottom of the mountain as i mentioned before you have to park your car you can take it any further than on the side of the road and you can purchase your ticket to the ride is between 300 and 380 depending on the time also children is 150 to 190 so you'll purchase your ticket right there there are little um, areas right there as you can see where you purchase your ticket to get on the 
the train to go up to the top of the mountain. And guys, yes, if you decide to take a trip at the tail of the mountain and you have friends that are senior citizens or students, then please remind them that there's a discount on their ticket. The view here is so magnificent, watching the Atlantic Ocean below and riding from the bottom of the mountain to the top is a must do on your next list. Traveling to Cape Town, please plan to go to the mountain. It is so beautiful. And again, the cable cars, they takes roughly 65 passengers on each trip. You will also be amazed to look down when you're on the trip and see the beauty of the mountain go while you're going up, while it slightly gives you that rotating motion to the top of the mountain. Don't be alarmed because the ride only takes roughly five minutes to get to the top of the mountain. Also, you'll find that once you reach the top, there's so many places there that you can go and, you know, look, stop, watch, talk, friends, everything is there. Now I've finally reached the top. Wow, the mountain top. Now I can stretch and I can feel the freedom of life and the gratitude of being here at the top of the table mountain. Wow, what a beauty. The scenery is breathtaking. No wonder the table mountain was voted as one of the seven wonders of nature. Wow, what is that? Look, I just saw a lizard. I heard that Cordylus lizard lives in the mountain. They're not friendly and usually they see always being alone. And as I zoom out to the left, if you look guys across the ocean, if you can see that little spot in the ocean, that is the Robin Island where Nelson Mandela was in incarcerated. I think he served off for 18 years of his 27 years on that little um, island. Later, I think he was released in 1982, if I'm correct. There are a few restaurants here, and there's also a souvenir shop. There are places that you can go and get um, liquor to drink, soda, juices, water. The restaurants usually have uh, the one that I went to. I think there is only one or two there. There is um, finger food, sandwiches, pizza, rolls, pastries, etc. The souvenir shop has many souvenirs and it carries the history of Cape Town City. You can tour the top of the mountain. You don't have to rush. You can go on the second ride or the third ride, but you can stay up there as long as you want and chat with friends and family and meet new people. This is a place that you would think of wanting to go once you hear about it. It's a beauty. And I would recommend this to anyone that wants to visit Cape Town. Again, this I'm so happy that you could join me on my trip and see what I ex at least experienced. Thank you again for watching and bye. See you in my next video.